Hey everybody, I'm making this as a supplementary video to what uh, video I just made with the Elastistack server. So this is with WinLobby. Uh, I wasn't able to do it a moment ago. It's really because I already had a box set up and I wanted to start from scratch and show you step by step. Uh, so right here you see on my screen WinLobby on a uh, Windows 10 machine. So what I did was I went to Elastic.co I believe it is or Elastic's website whatever the exact URL is and I navigated to the beat section and downloaded WinLobby. Uh, and I downloaded the 64-bit uh, zip file. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and proceed with that and uh, enjoy. So we're going to go ahead and right-click on the zip file and hit Extract All. And hit Enter to extract it. And then we're going to go ahead and take this folder that it extracts and do a cut. Come up here to your uh, your file, your uh, Windows Explorer bar. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired here. And do a C and then navigate to Program Data. I've already done it, so it was already in there. Is already cached, but go ahead and hit uh, program data and then go ahead and do a uh, control shift in, which will create a new folder and just type in beats. It's just a good way to keep track of it if you add more beats to it. And then so go ahead and copy that folder in there and then go ahead and open that folder. So if you don't have Notepad, that's so much easier to use uh, with the format that it uses to look at YAML files or I guess any file for that matter. And I'll go ahead and Click on that and right click and then hit edit with notepad plus plus. And then so here you see uh, it usually starts at the top. I'm not sure why it started me there. But anyway, so there's a few things here you can do with it. And I'll, I'll do the base things first. So what you have to do in order for this to work is come down here to Latin, to output Elasticsearch and then change this to your server IP. So it's going to be 10.0.100.106 in my case. All right. So. That's all you have to do to make it work. And you just hit save. But what I'm going to do, go ahead and do is uh, take it a step further. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, uncomment the set of dashboards and change this to true. And then I'm going to come down here to the host and then change that to the server IP address as well. What this is going to allow you to do is uh, load in the dashboards. So do win, you know, or uh, do 10.0.100.106. And then uh, I believe that was it for this part. So there's one other thing you can do, but I'm going to wait for that, and I'm going to get back to it. So go ahead and hit save on this, and then what you're going to do next is come down here and type in PowerShell, and open up a PowerShell window, and hit run as administrator. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and do CD, C, and then that basically navigate to that folder in your, in your um, PowerShell window. So you come out to program data, type B, and then tap repeats, and then W tab, and it's going to and then hit enter. It's going to take you straight into that folder that we just put there. Do LS, and this will show you all the files inside that. And so now what you're going to do is do a PowerShell, and then do TAC EXE, or I'm sorry, execution policy, and then bypass, and then just do IN, and then hit tab key, and it'll uh, go ahead and tab out the install script for PowerShell with uh, WinLog feed. So go ahead and hit enter with that. And then it's going to install the service. So next what you can do is go ahead and do services uh, MSC. And this will bring up your services window. And just uh, click on one of these and then type WINL. And it'll take you straight down to the WinLog feed service. And go ahead and uh, right click and hit start. All right, so it says it's running. Make sure that it says it makes sure it's still running by hitting refresh, and that way you'll refresh the window and show you make sure it's running. All right, so that at this point that's done. So what you want to do is come down here and type in win, and it's going to bring out winlogbeat.exe space and then do setup. What this is going to do is go ahead and load the dashboards in for winlogbeat to your server since we just set up that uh, that part of the email file. So go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to take just a moment. Oh, that was actually pretty quick. All right, so once that does that, you can, you can choose to go back and you can uh, comment these out. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Uh, the other part to this before I leave this part um, before I leave this area is do a get event log and then do a star. What this is going to do is bring up all the current events that your computer puts out, whether it be application based or security based or system based. So uh, the system security and application is already in there. 
Uh, it's, oh, let's go. Let's go up a little bit. I'll show you. So right here, you have application already in there. You have system already in there. Uh, security is already in there. Then you have the Windows um, or Microsoft Windows uh, Simon operational. And I, I don't know exactly what these are, but they're in there to four logs. Um, so what you can do if you want is just take this right here and highlight it and, and hit Control C and come uh, and then go down um, one or two spots and then backspace and then enter. And this way you can go back and if you want, if you choose to, I'll go ahead and make this go over. There we go. So that way we can see it. So you can go in here and you can add in. Uh, for example, hardware events. And then just uh, hit enter and same thing again. Just make sure this all stays in context so it doesn't mess up your configuration file. And do Internet Explorer. And I'll just add one more in there so you can see it. We can do Windows PowerShell just because uh, I'm already using that. Windows, okay, PowerShell. All right, so what you need to do here is simply hit the Save button and then go back to your services and then restart the service. All right, so once you do that, you're done here. You go ahead and exit out of all these windows and we're about to head over to the server. All right, so just uh, click over here. This is my server. I'm going to go ahead and log back into it. All right, so from here, uh, my previous video, I loaded in audit beat and um, I believe it was audit beat, file beat, and packet beat. And then, uh, so you can see these over here. So what you can do now is hit refresh. And since you loaded in those dashboards with the win log beat setup, once this reloads, you'll see that pop up in the discover tab as well. All right, so if you drop, hit this drop down menu, you'll see win log beat here. And this will show you all of the logs that are coming in. Uh-oh. Must be no logs yet. Okay. All right, we'll come back to that in a moment. So go to the dashboard, and I'll show you where the dashboards are. All right, so if you're already in, in a dashboard, that's what's going to pop up. So go ahead and hit the dashboard button up there. And all you need to do is come to the search bar and type in win log, and then... Uh-oh. Too, too many O's. There we go. All right, so just hit one log beat overview. Okay, so you'll see all the uh, beats or all the logs that have gone over in the last hour. And so right now it's just informational. I don't think this uh, this guy is putting out a lot of logs at the moment. And and it doesn't always unless unless the computer is doing something you know uh, actively. Uh, you may, you may not see anything. But see right now you're seeing it slowly populate. I'm not sure why it wasn't populating in the Discover tab in one but we'll go back and look. Okay, there we go. So for whatever reason, is it may have been having a moment. But anyway, so what you'll do is you can come in here and you can look at this. <clears throat> and over here on the available fields, you can hit uh, agent host name and it will tell you the host name of the actual computer. You can even add it up there so that it filters out. Let's try that again. There you go. So it filters out that one thing. And then you can come here to the search field names and type in message, for example. And then hit add. And it will tell you the actual message that is being put out for that host name. And this is just, you know, the scratch of the service. And, so you, you know, you can do more, more of this. All you do is come up here and hit remove. <clears throat> and I guess the other field wasn't in there anyway. Okay. Oh, so where'd it go? All right, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of that too. Uh, that's oh, you know, let's go to the I still have the mess filtered out. Okay, there we go. So anyway, so you come down here, there's multiple things that you can look at. You can even see the uh, the host host name. It's the same thing as the agent host name. Uh, the host architecture, you can tell whether well, it's a 64-bit uh, system or 32-bit system. You can even look at the host Mac. That's, I mean, there's so much stuff that you can look at. And, and the point of this is to put WinLog Beat on your servers or your Windows machines or whatever. And then have all of them send their logs to a central point so that you can view them all at once or you can filter out what you want to view. Uh, and I've had cases where uh, I've had a, a client machine go down and then automatically it generates a critical log and then it will send it to me on my server. So 
So that way, if, uh, you know, for example, I have, if I have a customer that is their, their computer crashes or whatever, then I'll see that pop up and then I'll be like, hey, did your computer crash? Like, yeah, how'd you know? Well, I got a log saying that, you know, it was a critical log saying that it crashed or whatever. So anyway, uh, I want to make this video for, for WinLogB because, you know, everybody uses Windows. Uh, you know, there's stuff out there for Linux as well, but Windows is the, uh, the most common thing that, uh, you know, that everybody uses. So this is a great way to monitor that. But anyway, I hope you like this video. This is again, this is a self supplementary video to the Elasticstack server uh, video I made. So um, like it, comment on it, and please let me know your thoughts. And please subscribe. Y'all have a good night.